Good evening and welcome everybody to this session of introduction to CCNA. My name is Dhananjay Patankar. You can call me DJ. And today, uh, let's talk a little bit about why this course, what is this CCNA course, what are the prerequisites, who can do it, right? What are the course contents, what after the course, what are the career prospects, how to prepare for the exam, right? All these things, all your doubts, right? Anything that you want to know about CCNA, right? So uh, I have almost 22 years of training experience, guys. And I will try my level best to make this course as easy uh, as possible, right? I'll try and make every term technology, right? Every protocol as simple as possible, right? I'm sure you're going to enjoy this course with me, right? And uh, let's have a look at what CCNA is about. So CCNA, as you all know it, or right, anybody new to Totally Networking, I think you're the one who's going to enjoy this the most because this is the most one of the best courses in the in the world, I will say. It's mind-blowing, right? It covers a lot of technology and everybody will enjoy it, right? Uh, whether you want to make a career in the field of networking or you're a non-IT guy, right? Everybody's welcome and I'm sure you, you can make a great, great learning from this course, right? It covers a lot of things, right? Primarily, this course is about networking. So that means Cisco routers and switches, apart from many other devices in the network that we have, we are going to learn everything about networking as long as the course goes, right? And it's primarily dealing with also configuring Cisco routers or routers, whichever way you're happy calling it, so, right? Uh, we, are, we are going to configure routers and switches. We learn how to monitor, how to configure, how to troubleshoot right, our networks and these Cisco devices. End of this course, you will become a network engineer. You will gain a lot of confidence and great knowledge, which you can take ahead to further courses and enhance your learning with higher level courses like CCNP, CCIE, right? So, but if your foundation is very strong here in CCNA, it will be easier comparatively for you guys to pick up the advanced courses, right? And we here, uh, as a team, welcome you all, not only to this seminar, but to join these courses from our wonderful learning platform. And uh, I assure you on behalf of the team that you will be getting, all the trainers are very professional and will give you full support, right? You have no doubts, no problems. In fact, you will be thankful to yourself that you selected right, our training platform. And we are looking forward to give you full support. And we are happy to see you guys right, join CCNA and come out with CCIE. Right? So it's going to be a long-term association. And uh, expect the best from us. The only thing that I want from your side is relax. Stay with me during the lectures. Just pay attention. If you miss anything, you can you can call me up. Hey, DJ, please repeat this. We are here to help you out. I can repeat any theory, any labs that you want, right? But the only request is stay here. Stay with me, right? And keep on listening. Relax. That's it. And I promise that you are going to pick it up very easily because I'm going to make this course very lucid, right? Very easy for you guys to understand, right? So once again, welcome back and let's go ahead with this uh, small PPT that I have made to give you the introduction about this course, Cisco Certified Network Associate. You all know what Cisco is, right? One of the best and the, one of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, it's a pioneer, right? Who came out first in the world with routers and switches and uh, hence networking and the LAN and the WAN. Most of the companies in the world are using Cisco routers and switches, including the ISPs, right? Service providers, as you all know. So CCNA, all about networking, right? We are going to begin with a lot of fundamentals, right? And go up to the intermediate level. Uh, so that end of the course, when you join a company or when you, right? If you're new to this industry, when you join a company, you will be able to not only uh, configure the routers and switches, you will be able to monitor, you will be able to verify, 
you will be able to troubleshoot also in case things are not working, right? Then we should be able to detect the root cause, right? What is the problem, right? And how can I fix the network? So let's go ahead. So introduction to CCNA and Dhananjay Patankar, as I said, I got almost 22 years of training experience and I am a CCNA and CCNP and CCNA security certified. And I'll try my level best to deliver this course in a very nice way, in a comfortable way, right? So what is CCNA? Cisco Certified Network Associate. That's the associate level course, right? Beyond this, we know we have professionals and we have export CCNP, CCIE. CCIE is, as you know, the highest and the most reputed and most respectable certification around the globe. All these certifications are global. So no hassles, whichever part of the world we are, right? This is all recognized. So it's though it's an entry-level IT certification by Cisco, it exposes to you a lot of different technologies, right? So you'll come across a lot of terminology, terms, protocols, right? Not only theory, also the practicals. So we are going to do a lot of labs also. And you will be enjoying doing the labs with us, right? We will ensure that. So it also focuses on the networking fundamentals and uh, the broader topics that are covered in this course is IP services, security and automation. I'll give you more details on the exact details, right, of all the topics. And I'll share that link, right, with you guys tomorrow when we actually begin the technical session. Is that okay, guys? Everybody comfortable? Can you hear me? This course also prepares you for network installation, configuration, and troubleshooting. And the broader course contents, right? Course content overview. So Cisco has divided this course into six major parts, right? Technology-wise, right? So sections. So first one being network fundamentals. A lot of things will be covered here. Network access, IP connectivity, IP services like DNS, DHCP, NAT, POS. Then we'll look at security fundamentals. We'll also be covering automation and programmability, right? And uh, not only all these things, but we'll be covering wireless, right? Fundamentals, uh, basics. We'll also be doing a wireless lab wherein we'll take a wireless LAN controller and you guys through GUI will take couple of access points, right? Uh, DHCP server and uh, wireless LAN controller. And you guys are going to configure that controller to GUI. So we have wireless also, wireless security, wireless fundamentals. We have virtualization and cloud also. That also will be covering in this course. And security is already mentioned. Automation and programmability has got uh, Ansible, Terraform. And uh, of late, this new topic has been introduced, AI, as we all know artificial intelligence and machine learning, right? With regard to network operations, right? We'll look at all this fundamentals, basics. And for the labs, we are going to use a wonderful simulator from Cisco itself. Again, the best in the world. It's named as Packet Tracer. You all know this, right? You must have been working. Those who are new to this, right? The name of the simulator is going to be Packet Tracer. And I will give you a demonstration. And tomorrow in detail, today on the overviews, right? Tomorrow. When we begin day one with technicalities, technical topics, we'll get into more details. So packet tracer, you all will be enjoying, right? Doing all the labs and then configuring networks, routers and switches, right? All this hands-on labs, we are going to do it practically, right? Also troubleshooting real life network issues. So what are the prerequisites? Who can do it, right? Anybody, anybody can do it, right? Just need to have some interest in picking up networking, right? So no prior networking experience required, even no prior knowledge also required, right? No other certification or course is required. We begin from zero scratch, right? Right from scratch. The cables, the protocols, the topology, right? Everything that you want to know, DNS, DSCP regarding networking. And then the prerequisite says from Cisco, it is that if you want to give the exam, you need to be 18 years plus, right? That's it. But I think that's not a big worry here. And basic understanding of computers, okay, all we all have this, right? We all every day operate our laptops nowadays. Ideal for students, right? Fresh graduates and IT professionals. Who is eligible? If 
everybody, anybody and everybody, right? Anyone with an interest in networking, IT professionals wanting to upgrade their skills, fresh graduates looking to start a career in networking, right? So I said anybody and everybody because networking is a part of every industry in the world, right? Any country, any segment, any industry, manufacturing, services, banking, insurance, trading, stock exchanges, whatever you can think of in the world, right? Every company will have head office, branch offices, right? And all these servers and routers and switches. So everywhere network engineers are required, right? So we'll look at many things in this course. Yeah. So when you do the CCNA course, or when you get into networking, when you learn a lot of things, right? And then when you join the company, when you get certification or even with knowledge without certification, right? Uh, when you join the company or corporate, your designations will be like network junior, network administrator or support engineer or network technician, right? Something like this. And job sectors, I told you it can be anything. Anything and everything under this roof, right? IT, telecom, finance, any kind of manufacturing, services, whatever you can think of, right? Banking, insurance, anything. The army, right? The armed forces, anything, everything. Global recognition of the certification. Yes, this is very important, right? Uh, guys, I told you I have 22 years of experience and all our trainers are wonderful here in on this learning platform. So I ensure once again that you will be getting full support. The trainers are very professional, very knowledgeable, and you don't have to worry about anything, right? With the theory or practical or lab support or anything, right? I'm sure right, your outcome is going to be the goal that you want to achieve in the smoothest and finest way, right? Salary potential, because I am based in India. So as I said, I did my courses 22 years back, right? I did from Hong Kong and Sydney and Melbourne in Australia. So it's all international, right? So the certifications are all global. I gave my exams CCNA from there, right? Sydney. But I gave my further exams from India, right? It doesn't make any difference. I will tell you how to give the exam tomorrow when we join. We'll tell you everything about uh, this exam and the fees, how to enroll and how to study and all resources that we are going to give you, right? Okay, so entry-level salary in India today in 2024, October, right? Is around three to five lakhs, right? Annually in India. Experienced professionals obviously will get more, 10 to 15 lakhs, right, per annum. And salary is very by role and experience, right? As, as you keep on getting more experience, obviously, right? And certifications, your salary will keep on skyrocketing, right? And of course, the country. So is CCNA worth it? Yes, 110%, right? It is worth it, right? It has changed many people's life in the world, right? And it's a fantastic, mind-blowing course, right? Think of CCNA at the beginning. Now, think of CCNP and CCI also. They're also going to be, right, uh, very interesting, right? Once you achieve this, nothing is going to stop you, right? To progress, 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 and have a wonderful career right in this world so there's a high demand for network engineers and because it's all hands on right hands on knowledge for real world application that's what we are going to get here only before you leave the course right within the classroom here within right the course duration only you will be you will be getting a lot of practical right we'll be doing configurations of all the routers and switches right and great return on investment yes for beginners 110% and further, after you have done your CCNA, you have ample of choice, right? And there are a lot of verticals. You can get into enterprise. We call it routing and switching, right? CCNP, CCI, routing and switching. Or you can get into service provider vertical, or you can get into data center vertical, or security, or DevOps, right? So coders, software. So different verticals, right? But the base is CCNA. So if this base foundation is very strong, right, you don't have to worry. Half the battle is won, isn't it? And then you can get into further courses like CCNP, Cisco Certified Network Professional. And finally, the last step above it is CCI, right? Uh, Cisco Certified Internet Network Expert. In the slide, it's below it. But in the real world, it's about CCNP, right? Okay. So now, and uh, you can get into a lot of specialization, as I said, security or data center, 
right, or wireless or service provider or devnet. CCNA, again, very, very valuable certification, right? Building a foundation with great technical th things, right? We, are, we cover a lot of things in this. We begin from, from scratch, zero. That means even, even if you're a non-IT guy, you'll be able to understand everything, right? So we begin with networking basics, right? Cables and protocols and topology and connectors, a lot of things, DNS and DHCP, how communication happens between two devices, which cables to use where, right? What is the difference between a hub and a bridge and a switch? Though hubs and bridges are obsolete now, right? And firewalls and wireless LAN, so many things we are going to cover, right? We talk of the topics, we cover major things is IPv4, right? Addressing and uh, subnetting, and VLSM and CIDR and also IPv6, right, protocol later on. And then we get into a lot of things like CDP and Telnet. What are these protocols we'll do in depth when we go in, in the course, right? We'll not only understand what is this, why are they used, where are they used, when are they used, and we'll also do the labs, right? So you understand it practically also. So IPv4 addressing, submitting, IPv6, CDP, Telnet, ping, right? components of routers and switches, the booting up sequence, so many things. And then if I talk of one more major topic, that will be switching, right? So when we get into switching, we'll look at the components. What is the switch? Where do you place it? How do we use it? What do we connect to the switch, right? How are different switches connected? What is trunking? What is pruning? What is VTP, right? Many things like uh, spanning tree protocol. How does a, a switch uh, learn the MAC address here? So it's MAC address table. And loop avoidance mechanisms like STP, PVST, MST, right? And trunking and pruning and whatnot. Ether channels, right? And what is a layer two switch and what's a layer three switch and how inter-VLAN communication is done and what are VLANs, many things about switches in detail, right? So we'll understand not only the theory, we'll be getting into practicals, right? When we switch, finish switching, we'll be getting into routing, right? So what is routing, right? What's the difference between switching and routing? So what is static routing? What is default routing? Where do you configure it in the real life, right? Why do you require it? And then some dynamic routing protocols, right? We'll be primarily focusing on OSPF, right? That's a link state routing protocol. We'll be discussing a lot of things when we get into routing, right? Different categories of routing protocols like distance vector and link state, right? And balanced hybrid. And also path vector routing protocols like BGP and ISIS, but BGP. So a lot of things to be covered in the routing, right? How routers learn remote networks, how to configure, verify, monitor routing protocols. Once we had so many things, once we are finished with routing, we'll get into access control list, right? ACLs, we call it IP ACLs. Access control list. These are several permit or denial statements that we are going to configure on the router, right? To ensure uh, security, right? Something like this. So we'll look at access controls later on. Tomorrow onwards, we are going to start technically. Today, just an overview of the topics. And then uh, something known as, so when we do access controls, we'll be covering up standard access controls, extended access controls, named, sequential, all in detail, right? Theory, practical. So a couple of hours we'll be sending there, very important hours. Similarly for NatPat, what exactly is NatPat? Where do you use it? Why do we use it, right? And uh, uh, we'll be getting into static NAT and dynamic NAT and PAT, right? So, so on and so forth, so many things. So as I said, this course covers all uh, basically network fundamentals, right? Uh, getting into detail in many topics like OSPF and spanning tree protocol. And apart from wireless and virtualization and cloud and automation and security fundamentals. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy this course, right? So these are primarily the topics that we are going to cover in CCNA. So these are the levels, right? There's a CCT, Cisco Certified Technician, but we are beginning with CCNA, so it will cover CCN, CCT also. Cisco Certified Network Associate, that's the base level, right? Here, yeah, fundamental. And then we'll get into CCNP. I mean, further your upgradation level can be CCNP, right? In CCNP, again, we got Encore and many more things like NRC or a couple of courses in wireless or SD-WAN, right? So you can pick up your specialization 
one encore and one more exam, let's say SD-WAN, that will make your CCNP, right? And then you can choose your vertical for CCI, right? We are focusing right now on enterprise, that means routing and switching, right? CCNA is common to all further verticals, right? After CCNA, you can get it to any of the verticals, as we discussed before. It can be wireless, it can be service provider, it can be data center, right? It can be security. Okay, so guys, with me, everybody, right? Any questions, any doubts? So as to conclude, CCNA is the stepping stone, right? To a successful career in IT networking, right? And opens the door to advanced certifications and higher salaries, okay? And what? So let's begin our journey, right? To networking today from here only with us. And I am thankful and congratulates, also congratulate you all for picking up the one of the best dedicated learning platforms, right? And I'm sure you'll be very happy and uh, right to associate with us and get the best to right take your career forward, right? Any questions? Feel free to ask me, right? Uh, again, tomorrow we are meeting with the first technical class, but this was an overview about CCNN, as I said. CCNA deals with LAN and WAN and networking. So first, right, we take up the basics, right? In fact, how in the real life, right, uh, we are connected to the ISPs and ISPs are connected to multiple ISPs around the world, right? So all these fiber optic cables, we begin from the scratch, right? Undersea cables. This is how the whole continent, right? Whole world, different continents, different countries in different continents, continents, the service providers all over the world, how they are connected, right? So we begin right from the basics, somebody who's not at all from IT. So don't worry, you will also, right, be able to pick up everything. And uh, let me give you some idea about now the technical course. So if you just Google search and type, right, CCNA topics, right? Right, uh, we'll come to this first link only, Cisco Learning Network. We can right select the first link, come here, right, and this is the global CCNA course and exam that we are doing, right? This is known as now CCNA 1.1 exam, right? This covers artificial intelligence, right, machine learning, and all the new topics also, right? This is valid now, and here is the exam description, right? It's a 120 minutes exam, right? So this is 120 minutes in India, right? But when I'd given this exam long time back, 2001, 2002 from Sydney, they had given me 90 minutes, right? But when I came back to India, the same exam, because we are non-native English speaking country. So they gave us half an hour more for the same exam, right? So advantage here, but anyway, uh, because English, whether it's your mother tongue or not, it depends on that and which country. So these are the major topics that we saw. As per Cisco, and this, this is the percentage that's going to be covered, right, in the exam. So network fundamentals, 20%, uh, network access, 20%, and something like this, right? So on and so forth. Automation is 10%, right? So if you just click here on the drop-down menu, you get the detailed topics, right, that we got to cover in this course. And we are going to cover up every damn thing, right, in this course, every damn thing. Right. So all these topics have to be covered. Right. And then similarly for network access, right? We have so many topics, right? So we'll be covering every damn thing. So which will boost your confidence. We are going to do it very nicely, very comfortably. Right. So this is the third fourth topic, IP services. Right. So a lot of things like DHCP, syslog, and SNMP, NTP, right? NAT, right? many things so i'm not getting into the exact details today but yes we have to deal with all these things and we will be more than happy to learn all these things right and deliver it right so yes guys this was the detailed course content right and let me give you a demo of the lab so you already must be knowing it or anybody very new to this networking uh this Simulator known as Cisco Packet Tracer is from Cisco itself, and we are going to learn now how to configure right and manage your network. So, look at this 
I am going to. I am not explaining you right now anything. Just giving you a small demo. I just picked up a router, and I want to make a small network. I just pick up. This is a switch, right? And I'll tell you more about the switches: layer two switch and layer three switch. And I want to just give you a demo of connecting some multiple devices and making a small network. I'll just click the cable here, right? And I'm going to connect the router to the switch and switch to one end user, second end user, and third end user. And this is the way we are going to start configuring our routers, right? But more details tomorrow. Today, only a glimpse of it. And I'll tell you more about all these commands. Don't worry, we are going to cover up all the commands, right? So look, the default name, for example, of the router is router only, right? And that of a switch is switch only. So if I want to change the name, right, you guys will be doing all these things, right? And if I want to have a look at the different interfaces on this router, so I'll give a small command, a very beautiful command. I love this command. Show IP interface brief. And we got, it says the router has got gigabit 000. This is a physical port, right? And one more. Uh, a gigabit Ethernet port, 001 and one more. So three physical Ethernet, gigabit Ethernet ports, and one virtual port, we'll talk of this VLAN later on. So if I want to configure one of the ports, I'll just type interface gigabit, something like this. Because these ports are disabled from the factory, I'm going to enable it by giving this no shut command. And uh, if I want to give, a, give an IP address, I'll take a simple IP address, let's say, 10.1.1.1 and the subnet mask of let's say people to five five zero. This is the way we can do it. Do show IP interface brief again. If I want to check, yes, this port is now not administratively down and down, right? As it was initially from the factory, the default setting. We enabled it by giving the no shut command, and then we also gave an IP address to this particular port. Similarly, we can give different IP addresses to different ports. Okay. So this was a small demo of how we configure uh, routers and switches. And if I want to expand my network, right, I can pick up more devices. Let's say I picked up one more router and one more switch. And now I'm going to connect few more end users, right? And connect all of them. So I'm going to connect first router to the second one and the second one to the switch and The switch to the end users, right? And more details later on tomorrow, right? This is to give you just a basic idea about how we are going to enjoy, right? Making network topologies and configuring and verifying and troubleshooting all these networks, yeah? So this was about the packet tracer. All these topics, right? All will be covered, right? Anything can come from this exam topics that we have seen from Cisco. So don't worry, we'll guide you how to clear the exam, right? We'll give you all the resources and Ensure that do you do a lot of, we give you a lot of labs, right? So that your confidence goes up, right? Okay. So, so far, so good, guys. Any questions? Any doubts? So, this is all about the course, right? I've showed you the contents. I've given you my brief introduction, right? That I got almost 22 years. And I'm going to make it very simple for you. And we have a wonderful team of uh, very professional and very experienced trainers, right, right from CCNA to CCNP and CCIE. So you have selected the right learning partner, right? And we uh, we are committed here to give you full support, right? Whatever help you require, whenever you have doubts, any problems, anything. We are here to resolve you. We have a wonderful team, right? We'll give you wonderful lab support, right? You just have to dedicate yourself and we are with you, right? Uh, with this introduction, guys, I think we can meet tomorrow, right? My best wishes to you all in your life and career. And uh, hope to see everybody uh, tomorrow in the class, right? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.